How's it going guys? I'm Art Lucinic with TheFlyFishers.com and today we're going to be tying the Rojo Midge. The Rojo Midge is a great pattern that can be fished in multiple states and mul multiple river systems all around the U.S. To tie the Rojo Midge we're going to be using Daiichi 1560 size 18 hooks. Step one, you're going to slide your bead up onto the hook shank. After that, you're going to attach the thread about halfway down the hook shank and secure it in place. You want the bead to sit about one bead length behind the eye of the hook. Next step is just to attach that guy or secure it in place so it's not sliding around on you when you're tying. After the bead is in place, you want to wrap your thread back and just make a couple of layers on the hook shank just so your materials don't slide around. We're then going to be using red small ultra wire. And I like to wrap it all the way down the hook shank just to give it a little bit of body and to help it sink a little bit faster. You want to tie it all the way back to right where the bend starts and then wrap your thread forward just to make it a nice clean body after the wire is in place you're going to want to wrap it forward and try to do nice clean even looking wraps I usually add a slight angle to the wraps of the wire just for looks but I don't think the fish care which way the wire is wrapped as long as you've got that little bit of shine in there. I'll do a couple wraps right behind the bead and then tie it off. Clip off the excess and we're ready for the peacock arrow. After you're done with the wire, you're going to be adding one strand of peacock curl just behind the bead. Before you place the peacock on, I usually run my fingers through it and separate all the strands and get them sticking out real nice. A couple wraps. You don't want it to be too thick of a collar, but just enough so you get a nice little base. Usually about the same width of the bead should do. Tie it off, clip off the excess, and you're ready for the next part. For the gills on the row home edge, wrap your thread ahead of the bead and cover the rest of the hook shank with one wrap just so there's no metal exposed. I like to use white near hair to make the gills. What you're going to do is cut about an inch long strip and place the thread right in the middle of your strip and then fold over and pinch it off. You're then going to pull down and wrap a couple secure wraps just to attach them on. After you get the gills on, you're going to wrap around like you're tying a post. A couple wraps just to stand them up, and a couple wraps behind to further secure them. Take your scissors, and I usually clip them off so they're about the size of a bead. After that's done, push them back, whip finish, and 
and your row homage is complete.